Travis Regan, did you look up an AMC theater? Or are you lying to me? Good afternoon, everybody. Friday afternoon. I just got home from sitting in traffic from what was a long week. This guy here. Oh, Regal is, is AMC. AMC? Anyway, Travis had an even longer week. He had a crazy day at work today. We both just got home, and now it's vitamin time. We eat gummy vitamins for like a dessert every day. Well, it's not technically a dessert because we haven't eaten food, but as like a little sweet treat. And the vitamin benefits, I suppose. Um, Travis was looking at tickets to go see that movie called oh, The... There are no AMCs within 50 miles of us. Within how many miles? 15. 15. 15. We can go further no, than... 50. 50? You told me there are AMCs here. So when I moved here from California, I have a whole truckload of free AMC 30 movie theater tickets, and I was so excited that we would get to go on these movie dates all the time, and they don't have them here, so apparently not. We're going to have to take a road trip down to Eugene. I don't think anything very exciting is happening this weekend. As I said, Travis had a very long week. I had a just drawn out week, and so I don't think we really have any plans, but I figured I would record just for the fun of it. Let me show you this thing that we put up last weekend. This is my little project that I had in mind from way back before I even moved here. That is a quote that I got, is it in focus, on Etsy. And I printed it out on like nice paper. The frames from Home Goods, Joe Malone candle, that's a vase. I need to put like a fake flower or something in there or kind of like rearrange what goes up here. And then these are little hooks. I think that's obvious what those stand for. We would put like our raincoats here, our proverbial raincoats. And then down here, I'll probably get like a little basket to keep shoes. These are two packages that came today from Nordstrom from the anniversary sale. So let's open it. I think this is a shower curtain and this is a trash can. Exciting times. All right, let's open this. Judging on the size of this, this one's the trash can. I hope it's big enough. <clears throat> so this is like a DKNY trash can. It's marble and um, it's for my little beauty room here, and it was like 20 bucks, I think, which was basically the same price Ooh, as every other trash can. Yes. Hi. <laughs> it's okay. Um, every other trash can that I saw when I was looking for trash cans online because, again, that's my life, is looking for things like trash cans. I know that I could probably buy a really cheap plastic one at like Target or something like that, but I wanted a slightly more attractive one because trash cans aren't exactly the most appealing thing. So there's foam, so that's going to get everywhere. So lovely. And here is our trash can. It's cute. I like it. The gold at the bottom and the marble. I can dig it. I mean, it's just a trash can, but it's a slightly prettier trash can. Now let's open this. This looks really cute in the picture. It's like a palm tree shower curtain. So I hope it's cute in person. Oh shoot, I don't want to cut the fabric. Gotta be careful. I wonder what he was popping his head in here for. I don't think we're doing anything tonight. I think we're just staying home. And like, I'm gonna cook dinner and I think I'm gonna make some dessert too. I ah, have been spending a lot of time on Pinterest per usual. And I think I'm gonna make some like weird kind of like pseudo healthy dessert like banana like brownies made out of just bananas and like a few other ingredients stand by for how those are going to actually taste oh i think he's watering his plants i was like did he just leave the house without me i want to go not that i know where he'd be going but i just assume i would want to go so here is our shower curtain people i thought this was dkny but it's not it's called Miami Leaf. This was also, I think, like $21.90 or something, to be exact. The print looks cute from what I can tell. The colors look pretty vibrant. Our bathroom is basically like black and white in theme. And we have a black and white shower curtain now that I do like. But I really love the palm tree trend or like the palm leaf trend. And I thought this would be a nice pop of color. It's going to be hard to tell on camera probably. But here's the fabric. It smells like new weird plasticky fabric but um yeah I think that'll actually be really cute in there so I'll let you know if I don't end up keeping those items but so far so good I also picked up a few other things at the Nordstrom sale 
Nothing too crazy though. I didn't go overboard like I did last year. Sadly, I didn't save money for the sale specifically like I did last year. That was really wise of me. I knew like, hey, I always get FOMO every year at this sale and I want everything, so I'm gonna save for it. And then this year, not so much, didn't do that. So I uh, picked up a few things, but anyway, I'm gonna go see what that boy's doing. Like I said, Travis had a long, hard day. So now, while he watches Silicon Valley, I'm going to attempt to cook us this. Can you see that? Sounds promising, let's see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm just putting the finishing touches on dinner. Normally, whichever one of us cooks, me or Travis, we like plate the food for the other. But I think right now, I'm just gonna kind of spread everything out a bit and have us like build our own tostada. If you couldn't see when I held up my phone, this is a sriracha roasted cauliflower tostada with mango salsa. Um, Let me show you. Some of this might look more appetizing than others, but let's just see. So here you just have some cabbage and cilantro to put on top of your tosada. This is fresh made guac. I'm pretty stoked on this. There's like jalapenos, onions, tomatoes, lots of lime. This is a peach mango, or no, just a mango. I don't know. Whatever the recipe was, I just store bought it. It's like a mango salsa. This looks kind of burned, so we'll see. I think that the recipe, this was not as much cauliflower and I added some onion too, but it's like sriracha, lime juice, etc. It's roasted up. I think once we pick it off that God, I look like such a horrible cook. Anyway, that's like the main component. Then there's like refried black beans with jalapeno and our little tortillas. Um, these are everything flavored pretzel thins from Trader Joe's. And I don't have any chips, so that's what we're going to dip our guac with our guac. I I'm hoping it'll work. Travis is a pretty, you know, go with the flow kind of guy when it comes to this, so I think he'll be happy. I really hope it tastes good. I'll let you know. All right, here's the finished product. This is my favorite part, guac. How is it, Travis? William? Ah, you know one of my biggest pet peeves in the world is chips left over in the salsa at the guac. <laughs> no. Camera shy. Okay, let's watch something and bon appetit. I hope this is decent. We're going on a Halo Top mission. Halo Top's the best dessert ice cream ever. That was dessert slash ice cream. And the lovely Michelle, Travis's soon-to-be sister-in-law, gave us two coupons for two free pints. So you bet your bottom dollar we're going on a Halo Top mission. Up top, up top, up top. Now it's time for some four ingredient brownies. Let's see how these turn out. Hey guys, good morning. I just got back from a fingerprinting appointment. One of the steps that I need to do in order to continue to work on the process of getting my teaching license here in Oregon. So it was on the west side, which is kind of difficult to get to and parking was kind of a nightmare, but the appointment itself takes like literally 90 seconds. So I'm home now. We're going to see a matinee movie today. Haven't done that in forever. We're gonna go see The Big Sick. I don't exactly know what it's about, but he's been wanting to see it and it got really good reviews. So along the vein of my four ingredient brownies that I made last night, which were fab, by the way, I'm now gonna make two ingredient sweet potato pancakes. So let's see how these puppies turn out. I'm gonna make these and then wake Travis up with them. Well, per usual, Pinterest makes this look a lot easier let me pause this watch my little videos let me actually show you the picture on pinterest so if you can see this 
it's like a fluffy pancake made with just sweet potatoes and eggs and then you can add cinnamon and vanilla if you want which I did so here's my batter um, this is the first batch which even with real pancakes is always the hardest so uh, we'll see I hope it's one of those things where they taste better than they look to be determined so literally I've tasted a few little bites and I'm not so sure about this we did this once before with like pancakes and eggs that's another oh what did I say pancakes bananas and eggs that's another kind of two ingredient pancake Travis made that one time back in California and it was pretty decent this I'm not so sure so I don't know what I did wrong or if it's just like a weird thing so depending on how much time we have before we need to leave for this movie I might just cave in and make some freaking this because what a letdown to like try to make pancakes and then like not have them so we'll see we're still cooking over here but well how are those sweet potato pancakes Gross. It was such a fail, such a fail. So I whipped up right regular pancakes, and they weren't even the best, but they were okay. And we like inhaled them, and then we came to the movie. How'd you like it? Good. It was good, based on a true story. It was pretty funny. Okay. Oh, and the theater, Cinetopia? It's in Vancouver, so we came to Washington to go to the movies. I'm turning this down for just a second, even though it's really hot. It was like a living room. Like, I've been to a fancy theater before, but nothing like that. That was crazy. They had like a fake fireplace and like these big, huge seats, and it was cool. But there was this chick next to us. And what did she do, Travis? Acted at everything. So the, the movie was like a comedy. Ooh, taking a turn. But Homegirl laughed at every single line of that entire movie. And I asked Travis what he would do if like that was a first date. I would leave. Why? You would not leave. She's so annoying. She, it was just like awkward. I don't know how she her friend even she like. at everything. Yeah. Like the dumbest things. It's hot today. It's according to my car 86 degrees, but I think maybe even hotter. To anybody in Arizona watching, they're probably like, oh, shut up. It's not hot. Which is true, but it feels warm, especially in the car. This is not the one with colors. It will be. Just you wait. And it smells like cherry or something. Smells like something. Or like cherry. Artificial. My car is like. The last you saw us was at the car wash. But what I didn't tell you that we got at Target was... Where are you? <laughs> He's hiding behind me. You're gonna be in this clip because you wanted to try these. Rice Krispie Treat cereal! So like, most of the time I'm pretty good at avoiding... <laughs> no oh, I'm sorry. Um, naughty treats that are available at the store. But let me tell you a little story about 90s, no about Rice Krispie Treat cereal. These are from the 90s. Thumbs up if you're a 90s kid. <laughs> and you remember these. These were like a spin-off or like a special whatever, like limited time of regular Rice Krispies. They were called Rice Krispie Treats. And I was obsessed with these. And then they never made them ever again. And I remember even looking these up on Amazon, like along the vein of Dunkaroos, like another very popular 90s treat. And I think they were like really expensive and questionable on there, 
But the wait is over, people. Rice Krispie Treat cereal is back. But Travis says he's never had it. Travis, hold this camera for me. Are you filming me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tilt it up, please, sir. Are you Snapchatting? That stupid hot dog thing. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Smell. Mm, that's a good it's year. literally just like eating a Rice Krispie Treat. That's a good year. Hmm? Oh, mm. my God. You gotta, you're tasting it wrong. I'm not tasting you it wrong. I like this cereal. Just stir it. Get some air in there. You're so weird. You okay. And the calorie count. Like For regular, being Rice Krispie Treat cereal, it only has nine grams of sugar, which I'm not saying is great, but it's not as bad as I would have thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, Tra <laughs> Travis has Rice Krispie Treats in his beard currently, and then he also just blew one out of his nose. Now it's in your shirt, bro. All right, well, we're making some tea. It's 6 p.m. already, but we like ate a really late lunch. So I'm not hungry. It's a lazy day. Yeah. So we're brewing some tea, coconut tea that we got at the Portland Saturday Market last weekend or two weekends ago. And then I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll see you later. Hip hop hooray! Oh. Happy Sunday. It's very late in the day. And I haven't said anything. Last night we ended up. Oh, last night we ended up getting sushi for dinner at like this random place. It was really good. And then we watched. Oh, we watched an Amy Winehouse documentary. It was sad. Today's like the six-year anniversary that she died. We were just doing stuff around the house all day today, and now we're on our way to the mall. So this one can get fitted for something for his brother's upcoming wedding. And then we're going to his parents' house for his brother's birthday dinner. So. That's about all I have to say. Travis just got his hair cut, but he doesn't like it. What do you got to say about that? Oh. Why are you such a man of few words? I don't know. <laughs> My other lady's gonna be mad. Your other lady's gonna be mad? She's not gonna know. My haircut lady? Yeah. I know, I told her. Oh. The reason I have to get a haircut from a different... Cause she's out of town for a while. Oh, well. And it's an emergency haircut. You know, you got what you gotta do. So, I asked her for instructions to give the new lady, and the new lady sucks. <laughs> Can't win them all. Man, these people will help. What's the temperature outside? 85. Five. It's not that bad, but these people are running outside, and good for them. It's not a desirable what beer looks like temperature. Though. Yeah, you know it would look nicer. What? was even shorter. No. I could see your dimples. No. I ate a smoothie and now I think I have like blueberries in my teeth, so forgive me if I do. Alright, Godspeed. Well everyone, it's Sunday night. This is some god awful lighting, but this is reality. Uh, the last you saw us, we were in the car on the way to the mall, and then we went to Travis's parents' house and had birthday dinner. Um, for his brother. I didn't vlog any of that. There were a lot of family there and I just felt weird. <laughs> like his cousins and grandparents were there. So I was like, ah, I'm just gonna not pull out the camera. But it was fun. We just got home a little bit ago and uh, I have to be at work a little early tomorrow. So, you know, getting those Sunday night blues. And I am tucked in bed with all of these fabulous, oh, as I hit myself in the face, cookbooks that I ordered on Amazon a couple weeks ago. I actually have a cookbook haul and like maybe review type thing coming up soon on my channel. Um, I like to meal plan usually on Sundays so it's kind of what I'm doing. I usually use Pinterest but I'm just gonna lay here and look flip through some of these books and see if I get inspired. Travis's friends uh, Sean and Chelsea are coming to visit us this weekend so they're staying from Thursday to Sunday, so our meal planning is like a little different this week, but I'm still going to flip through these and head off to bed. Thank you guys for watching. This weekend wasn't that exciting, but I'm sure there will be more exciting things to come that I'll bring you along for. 
please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh.